Hello and good morning. This is Dr. Yonet with another episode of Baby Talk. How is your baby doing this morning? You know, I just look forward to seeing those beautiful pictures of growth and development and how well you are connecting with your baby. And I'm certain that you're loving every minute and savoring it and putting it in print because you're journaling, journaling and taking pictures. So, you know, we have been focusing a lot on baby. And so today I went to focus on you moms and dads, moms and dads taking care of you. And in particular, I want to focus on moms because there's a lot of information out there about new moms. You know, new moms are normally advised to do at least one thing for themselves every day to make sure that self-care is a priority no matter what. But I know as a new mom, you must be saying, I can't even tell the last time I had a proper shower or even a good night's rest. How is self-care gonna be something that I'm really focusing? And I can't even do the basic things that I need. Now, it is common for you to view self-care that way as it's actually irrelevant because baby has so many demands on your time and then you still have your spouse to take care of and other duties or chores to do in the house. But according to Wendy Wisner in Very Well Family, taking care of yourself is so important that neglecting to do so can lead to physical and mental challenges and even compromise the well-being of your baby. Now, why do many moms neglect to care for themselves? Because one, they don't see self-care as vital and they see self-care as being selfish. Hmm. Self-care is showing self-love. And self-love is very important to be to being able to love others. So new moms and dads, you need to you need to find a way to do the following. One, you need to learn how to say no. Pri prioritize so that you can know what's important and do what's important and say no when other things get crowded into your, your priorities. Number two, see yourself as being good enough because you have taken care of yourself. You know, a lot of times that we look at ourselves as, uh, mm, because we don't feel that we look well. We haven't taken the time to take care of ourselves, so we have that attitude towards us. Number three, ask for help. You know, if you are overwhelmed, you don't have to do everything, and that's one of the great, great sins of women. Mothers, you think that you have to save the entire world, but you don't. Ask for help when you need it. Number four, talk about how you feel. If you're feeling tired and overwhelmed and depressed, you know, talk about it so that you can get it out there and people can know that you need support. And then stop feeling guilty. If you take some time for yourself, you have no reason to feel guilty about that. If you, if you stop, um, if you didn't complete everything you had on your list for the day, the six most important things, or the 10 most important things, you know, us moms tend to have our list to be endless. Don't feel guilty if you haven't completed all that you have on your list. Now, here are 10 ideas that you can use. And I have added an 11th idea because I want you to focus on this 11th one. And we're gonna do it together. Go for a 20 minutes, a 20 minute walk without your baby, just go. Take an afternoon, 
every day or a morning, whenever it is convenient, and go for a walk for 20 minutes all by yourself. Talk or text with a friend or counselor. I remember when I was raising my baby, I like shut off all my friends because all my time was focused on raising the baby. But you know, you really need to have some time when you are connecting with the outside world. I've been saying this repeatedly, number three, journal. Journal for 10 minutes. But when I talked about journal in the past, journaling, I was referring to journaling about a baby. Here I'm talking about journaling about you, your experience, and you can do that in the morning or before you go to bed. And keep a daily gratitude log. Meditate, number five, meditate for five to 10 minutes before you fall asleep or while your baby is napping. Just sit, number six, sit on the couch and do absolutely nothing for 10 minutes. Just breathe, just relax, just on filter, filter out your brain and clean it out so that you are just energized again for the day. Sit on the couch. I said that already and do absolutely nothing. That's number six. Prioritize sleep. A lot of new moms are deprived of sleep. Nap when your baby is napping. And then have your spouse take the baby on weekends or different times so that you can get a proper sleep. We did that too when our baby was young, especially on the weekends when we were trying to balance work and taking care of the baby. We had times when my, my husband was in charge and he was taking care of the baby and I had some free time to do other things and then we switched to back. Go get a massage or a pedicure or a manicure just for you. Number eight. Number nine, take a hobby. Take up a hobby. Start knitting or painting or doing what you find to be pleasurable. Number 10, take a weekend afternoon to just go wandering around. Go to the mall. Go to the go get some some tea. You know, just do something that frees you and go to the park, invigorates you and it helps you to, to feel alive and to feel your own personal self. Now, my number 11 is to start to take care, to start a skin routine. And today I want to walk you through this skin routine that I am recommending. First, let me talk about the routine for the men. Now, men, you can start a skincare routine, and in a skincare routine, you always need to have, you need a cleanser, you need a moisturizer, a cleanser, a moisturizer. And um, this is an eye cream. You, there's an eye cream, and I'm adding, this is your shave, your shave cream. If you need to do some shaving, keep up that look. And then I also have two other products that I want to introduce you to. This is the beard wash, and then you have the beard oil to replace whatever moisture you lost and you need to keep your beard shiny and, and fresh and attractive. All right, so that's the men. So men take care or develop a skin routine that you can use on a daily basis to take care of yourself. And you're using it in the morning and in the evening. Now for women, since you are breastfeeding, I want to introduce you to a natural line. This line is 99% natural, no chemicals, no additional product. It's not a, um, it's not a skin repair line. It's a line just keeps your skin fresh and clean and alive. So you want to use this naturally line to help you. And I'm going to go through the routine of using it. First, you're going to wet your face. Make sure your face is wet. When you apply a cleanser, you always want to have a wet face to apply it to. And I'm going to put it on a brush. 
a small amount of my cleanser goes in my brush. Now, the, the, the environment is filled with dust and all kinds of pollutants. And you want to make sure that you are cleansing your face so you have that healthy skin. This is an exfoliator. It's going to exfoliate the dirt and grime, the dead skin, actually, that's on your face. In your skincare routine, you always want a cleanser, an exfoliator, and a moisturizer. So I'm going to start with the cleansing. cleansing on my face using this brush and this brush is going to take off 20% more of the dirt and the grime and the pollutants that are on my skin and give me that nice fresh reveal of the skin that's underneath getting rid of the dead skin and I as I said earlier this is a hundred percent, ninety-nine percent, rather natural. So, moms, if you are breastfeeding, this is ideal for you. And then, other moms who may have um, going through or going through chemotherapy, you know, this is would be very much so ideal for them as well. All right. So, my cleansing, and this smells really nice. This smells really, really nice. My cleansing is complete. So I'm going to wash off the excess cleanser that's on my face. Using a washcloth. Now, if I were in my shower, I'd have it right there, the cleanser in my shower. And I can do that part of it right there in the shower. I actually have two cleansers, one in my shower and one at my sink. So when I go to bathe, I can cleanse right there in the shower and it makes it efficient and easy for me to get the cleansing done. Okay, so my cleanser has been applied and removed. My face is nice and fresh and clean to start the day. So cleanser is applied. Now we're going to apply the moisturizer. And for our moisturizer today, we're going to use the, um, the oil. This is called the nourishing oil. And we apply just a few drops. Mm, and it smells really, really good. Just a few drops of this nourishing oil that's mixed with almond and various types of oil. That's going to give you that moisturizer the moisturizing effect that you need to keep your skin nice and fresh you're getting under your chin and your jawline and that's nice and moisturized and then you're going to use the moisturizing stick now this oil let me go back to the oil this oil is very versatile you can also use the oil this oil which is a nourishing oil on your cuticles right there to keep them from breaking you can use it in your hair so it's very versatile and it smells really, really good. And then the moisturizing stick, you can use it for those ashy elbows and your knees. And these two products are very, you know, you can just stick them in your pocketbook and take them with you and use them throughout your day. Now, the, la the second to last step that I'm going to do in that cleansing process is to apply the um, scrub. This is a lip scrub. It's a sugar scrub and I'm going to scrub off the dead skin on my lips. I'm going to scrub off the dead skin. Again, we are taking care of mom. We are taking care of mom because we have neglected self care. And I'm sharing with you a few strategies that you can use to take off the scrub in your self-care routine. Now, we talked about uh, quite a few. This is uh, lip balm. Always when you do a scrub, you want to add a moisturizer. We talked about quite a few things that we can do to help with taking care of you. Now, I mentioned that one of the things that you can do is go for a walk. 
and when you go for a walk you want to make sure that you are protected from the sun's rays so you're using this is a cc cream that i want you to use it has spf and it's going to keep you keep your skin protected from the sun rays as you go out for your walk in the morning or in the afternoon you always want to be protected whether or not the sun is up you should always have some form of protection on your skin okay so i know moms you are busy so we're gonna do this nice and quick so you can see that self-care does not have to mean that you have a whole lot of time you can just do that self-care as quickly as you can so i applied the cc cream now i'm gonna just apply some powder some translucent powder to take care of that sheen on my face okay so the translucent powder is applied you know my face looks pretty good and I'll top it off with some lip color and lip gloss. All right, so that's it for today. Remember, self-care is very important, very important to the health, mental health, and physical health and your overall well-being of your baby so develop a skincare routine that you can use in the morning and in the evening i shared with you some natural products that will be great for you breastfeeding moms and i also shared with you some products that are going to be great for you dads as you participate as you participate in the rearing of your newborn Thank you for joining me this morning. This is Dr. Yonet. Have a great day taking care of baby as you take care of you.